Is your money safe in a bank? Most people around the world should be able to answer this question with an emphatic yes, without any doubts. But that's not the case with the customers of at least two banks in India, perhaps more. After days of tracking a trend and some alarming developments, we bring you two stories that impact you directly, all of you. And we show why India's banks are facing a credibility crisis right now. Our first story is about a stamp. This picture on your screen is doing the rounds on social media. This is from a passbook of HDFC Bank. It says that deposits within the bank are insured and the payout is 1 lakh rupees. This photo has gone viral and it has sparked concerns among HDFC Bank customers. Posts on social media triggered panic. Only 1 lakh rupees are safe in private banks, they said. Claims like these forced many to ask, is my money safe? Should you take out cash from the banks? Should you switch banks? Where and in what form should you keep your savings? These are questions that people are asking and discussing. HDFC thankfully was quick to issue a clarification. The bank said very clearly that the stamp is as per the Reserve Bank of India guidelines. So there is no need to worry. HDFC used the stamp on passbooks that do not have this information printed, meaning They've only stamped old passbooks. It's a matter of procedure. And this has only been done to make these passbooks compliant with the RBI guidelines. And that there's nothing for the customers to worry about. Let me repeat that. This hasn't brought relief that it should have. People are still worried about their bank deposits, not just in HDFC, elsewhere as well. Banks are supposed to be a safe bet for your money, safer than the walls at your home. But after the PMC bank crisis, one is not so sure. This is the Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank. I'm sure you've read it in the papers. Last month, the RBI slapped unprecedented restrictions on this bank. Depositors could not withdraw more than 1,000 rupees. This limit has now been hiked to 40,000, but the pain has not gone away. In fact, the crisis at the PMC Bank has now taken three lives. The restrictions were imposed on 26 September. 21 days have passed since. People have lost access to their hard-earned life savings. And no one knows if and when they will get their money back. The RBI has announced, not announced any timetable, in fact, the government has not offered a word of assurance. These people are waiting, 16 lakh families. The central and state governments are both facing questions from these customers. So what really happened? If one goes through PMC's balance sheets, it's all hunky-dory. In fact, the bank reported a net profit of almost 100 crores in the last financial year. But it now turns out that the bank hid its bad loans and assets. The total bad loans at PMC could be anywhere between 2,000 to 2,500 crores. No one spoke about it, not even the auditors, until the bank ran out of money. So where did all the money go? The PMC bank kept lending to a clutch of companies, especially in the real estate sector. The name that pops out is Housing Development and Infrastructure Limited, HDIL. Commercial banks had already declared HDIL a defaulter, but PMC kept giving it loans despite the defaults. It's a clear case of collusion between the bankers and the businessmen. This is fraud, one that goes straight to the top. Variam Singh, the former chairman of PMC, is now under investigation. It is believed that he colluded with the promoters of HDIL and kept the fraud under cover. The RBI had no option but to step in. The 14-member board of this bank has been superseded and RBI appointed administrators now running the show. But the depositors of PMC are paying the price. They cannot withdraw their own money. Families are running out of cash. Parents cannot pay the fees of their children. The ailing cannot pay hospital bills. There are, there are heart-rending stories. Borrowers cannot pay back their loans and they have nowhere to go. Dr. Manmohan Singh today said that the National Relief Fund should be used to help PMC depositors. The former Prime Minister urged the Finance Minister of India and the Chief Minister of Maharashtra to help the troubled 16 lakh families.